there's plane at 10 miles an hour, 13. up on plane now, a good 22 miles an hour. Little turn, leans in nice. 25 miles an hour. I changed props from last time, went from 11 to a 12. Let's see what we end up getting out of it. There's 27, I think I got 28, seven last time. I think I could go up a little more. There's 28, 27, 28. Trim it up a little bit more. I haven't set the trim yet, so I'm kind of trying to get that figured out. Not revving it out or anything. Really, really fun. Whee! There's 28. Down a little bit. 25 around the current curves. And you see it, it holds pretty well. No. Smooth day. I don't make much short wake, so. See, the handle's like right by my thigh where I like it. I could make it a little further off, but I'm okay where it's at. 24, 25 miles an hour. I'm gonna go back, trim it up a little bit. Dude, let's see, see how the other turn, turn the other way goes. Okay, little boat. This boat's for sale. I mean, I haven't sold it yet. Back, oh, 24 miles an hour. See if I can get in my quote unquote wake. There's just not much here. You know, ultra low draft, four or five inches. All right, we had a little bit of audio issue, so I'm gonna talk this uh, over um, here in my office. So what I do here, it's time to go back. Let me trim it up a little bit. Um, right now, it's basically all the way down. So we, uh, there's little pins that, you know you put through. Uh, it would be in the lowest one. I hadn't moved it up yet. Uh, one of the things I was testing was out there was what pin it needed to be put in. And you can't really see great here, but it's actually going to be in the top pin. Uh, so I got to move the bit pin all the way up, and that's what I ended up doing here. I moved up the top pin. And then off I go with the, when I brought, with, moved it up the top pin, it allowed the bow to, to come up a little bit more, uh, to give me a little bit more bow lift, which is kind of what I wanted. It was running basically dead flat, uh, which wasn't bad at all, but a little bit of bow lift, a very little bit, maybe moved it up an inch or two. Uh, but it allowed me to get to 28 miles an hour consistent here. So now I had 28 uh, uh, all day. Um, once again, no risk of blowout. I, I ended up turning both left and right, had no problem. So... Um, yeah, so I, I think the 12-pitch prop, I got a 12-pitch four-blade on this boat, and uh, the highest uh, setting uh, ended up being perfect um, for this this one right here. And like I said, 28 miles an hour. And the thing I really liked about it is it really held well in the turns. And there you saw the, the screen there flash a little bit, and that's the reason why my sound got messed up. Um, so yeah, so like I said, great little boat. Um, really, really, really like it. Uh, we basically just came out here. We wanted to make sure it set up good. Um, really did really 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 set up well uh, in a minute here I'm gonna um, we're gonna stop the boat I'm gonna walk around a little bit one of the things the difference between a smaller micro and then, then obviously the 16 footer is the uh, the difference in stability uh, left to right is uh, really significantly different um, the length although it's the same width uh, really did make a, a, a large difference here and as you see if you, you've seen some of my other videos on the smaller micro um, the trolling motor pads are much different. Uh, this one has a much larger trolling motor pad to, to fit a full trolling motor. That's a, uh, um, a wireless uh, uh, motor guide trolling motor, a 55 pound thrust. Um, that's what's on this boat. Um, and it moves around great, right? I'm, I'm, uh, it really does. The wireless delay, the actual the foot pedal, I think mine's a little bit weak. Um, I was trying to use it in that front seat and had a little bit of difficulty responding. Um, when I got up right uh, close to it, I had no problem, so I need to I think change the battery of my. Uh, and then I'm trying to uh, my uh, retro motor um, controls. 
I tried to go over my weight, but since I'm such a small boat, I can't really create much. Um, really hard for me to give you a great representation of how it cuts through the wake. I had a better when I had the other one out, the 13-footer out, uh, and I took a video of that. I think the weight cutting was a, a much more representative of what we could do. Um, like, like I said, this is a 30-horsepower short shaft. It's Mercury. I think the only ones really make that. Uh, I think the 25 would get just about, just about the same performance. I'm really curious what the 20 will do. Um, here I just stopped. Again, we had a little glitch with the, with the uh, video. I'm um, just kind of walking around, getting into the corners. Uh, I, I think I've said this in other videos. I'm about 160 pounds. So I'm not a very large human being. Um, just kind of walk around to see what I'll do. I came up here to the bow. Uh, at the 13 foot, you can see the bow lift it way up. Here, it only moved it maybe maybe an inch or two. Uh, but like I said, there's a, I thought there's a pretty significant difference in stability. Um, I like the 13. It has a good purpose. Um, really like the, the 16. Here's the storage area. There's my remote for the, the trolling motor. And then, of course, I have a trolling motor battery. It's a 24 series, but a 27 series will fit. Uh, there's a little water in there. I washed the boat before we came out. Um, but it... it, it it works out pretty good. Uh, really like those storage. The storage is much bigger in the 16, too. You, you have a pretty good amount of room. Um, this, uh, uh, we have those two rod holders. We have four, two on each side. They're angled out slightly. Um, so you can set your equipment there and you'll be good. Uh, once again, glitching on the video here. Um, I really like this flooring. Uh, I like the color. Um, becoming more of a fan of this. Um, that's the Hydro Turf product uh, that, uh, um, that we provide. Um, really cleans well. Um, before I came out here, the, the boat was a little bit of a mess. Um, and uh, yeah, no, I like the way it cleaned up. All I did was take a wet rag to it and off it came. A little bit, uh, this boat's basically all aluminum except for the, um, the hydro turf. Uh, there's no paint on it at all. I like the look of it, but uh, I guess it's probably be, be to each his own um, over here. But I like it. Um, as you can see here, uh, the 16 foot boat says we can rate it for a higher motor to offset some of that weight. We, we bring the transom in, um, that puts a little bit of foam, uh, a little bit behind the, the motor there to offset it, uh, ended up working out perfect. We, we, so, uh, we basically took the difference in the weight from a 20 to a 30 and made sure that that amount of foam was after the transom. Uh, really, really, uh, it worked out pretty well for me. I was I'm pretty happy. really like the seat. Um, the seat that we're using there, the Millennium seat, and this boat works out really great. Uh, the fuel tank is underneath the seat here. You know, on the smaller ones, the smaller tanks, we actually have them inside the front compartment. Um, but here underneath that uh, leaning post is, I think, the way to go. I really like the leaning post. I, you, we can do it sitting down, but this boat really is meant to be driven standing up. Um, I, I like it. Uh, I like it that way a lot. Uh, you can sit sit down, down, and it's just fine, but I, you know, I, say I really like it. Uh, it's time for us to go home, so here we go. We're, uh, we're just heading back into the into the um, the dock here uh, to get me all uh, put away. But um, thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. Uh, great boat. And like I said, this one is for sale. Um, and uh, you know, come out and see us, uh, Extreme Boats. Let us build you uh, the, the perfect boat for you. Thank you very much. And uh, this is Brian again with Extreme Boats. If there's anything I can ever do for you, just let me know. Thank you. Bye.